Well, well, well. Hello, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. Welcome to Wednesday, June 12th, 2024. It is day 164 of uh, being completely uh, sober. I am feeling well. Tara is feeling well. The others, like Lillian, Buttercup, and Sweet Pea, are at my mother-in-law's house today. So it is just me. And Tara, of course, he's doing his thing, I'm doing mine. Of course, today, while we talk, we're feeling somewhat whimsical. If that word even came out right, because we are also deciding to test the expressive limit of voice mod. We know there are some limitations, it doesn't like it when I use the letter S a lot more often than we'd like. But we are in this very, very, uh, colorful world, even though it feels like something, eh, fanatically apocalyptic. By fanatic, I mean fantastical. But the world, of course, is called Beyond a Bit by S. The October. So it's Beyond a Bit. It is Beyond a Bit. Beyond. Um, it's beyond the right word, though. Yeah, I suppose so. Neon. Very colorful. Very... <laughs> Honestly, 2010s colors. Those kinds of neons that you saw in the early 2010s. You saw a lot with people doing Photoshop. Of course, I'm rambling. There isn't a whole lot to talk about. We did try to get some follow-ups yesterday. Involving yesterday, I should say, about the whole... Gamer sucks fiasco. I we have reached out to Gamer Sups for confirmation, and we have received nothing from them. No responses, but there is one person on X who was pleased that the letter was fake, saying it was a Photoshop of a seek of a of a classified document. I struggle to see the validity of the claim because why would Gamer Sucks even put that post out to begin with? I find it particularly confusing, if not worrying. But, as you can see, we're just getting through our day. Of course, there was someone who also talked about some studies that came out of Harvard University that I find laughable. Why is Harvard trying to put out studies about alien existence being upon us? Or among us, I should say. It doesn't make sense because none of their article, well, none of it seemed based in reality whatsoever. And this is what people are going to Harvard for? spend your money a little more wisely that would be the smarter thing to do you do not want to waste your money if they're going to give you conspiracy theories involving utter fanatical nonsense to put out as scientific theory none of it made sense so please go to a different college or, or something. If you want to be imaginary, you don't need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it. All you have to do is go on Twitter. You'll find plenty of it there. You'll find it on Reddit and Tumblr. Do people even use Tumblr anymore? If you use Tumblr, would you kindly leave a comment in the comment section down below saying, I use Tumblr. We do not. In fact, I can't really say that Terra ever did. I know I did not, but the Terra ever used it. I don't think we really did. He may have had an account at some point, but never really bothered with it. I can't even think if we did. Oh. Well, what do you know? Anyway, as you can see, my whimsy is getting the best of me today. But that's because there have been so many things going on, and my body went that way. You could ignore that. One thing is for certain, though. I find it utterly confusing with how the news cycle has been, and 
I do want to apologize for everyone. We've been trying very hard to not cover news on this channel and only cover on family and sobriety. It doesn't mean I'm going to sit there and yell at everyone. You need to be sober, too, because we are. No, you don't need to. You may drink and do substances all you desire. Just don't make it my business. Ours, I should say. So, I mean, if you want to join in on this little challenge, you may at any time of your leisure. Outside of that, really, um... Yeah. Uh, we're just, uh, relaxing for today. We did that. We decided to look at some Star Trek lore because Star Trek was fun. Speaking of Star Trek, you know how a lot of people said that Star Trek Discovery was a bad series and like they were trying way too hard? Why is it the main character, Captain Burnham, didn't get her true personality until the final season? Like, in, in this final season, Captain Burnham's personality is, like, more but I felt more whimsy. I'm saying whimsy a lot today. I felt a lot more wit from Captain Burnham in this season than I did in Jean Luc Picard in some points. So I would say this season they really got their footing. It's just really sad that this had to be the final season because it finally got it finally got entertain like a greater level of entertainment. The problem I would say though is that. Modern series need to break away from this everything being serialized. You know, there's a good possibility that if they made the fifth season non-serialized, they could have had a lot more fun and gotten more seasons out of Discovery. Especially with how Captain Burnham is now. But of course, with the being the final season, we'll have to see if they decide to continue new series, either in... What is it, the 32nd century or whatever? Any new series there, or if they wish to cover the Temporal Cold War. Although, personally, I would love to see the Temporal Cold War played out in a Star Trek series. But, of course, I would like to see something a little more episodic rather than serialized. Too many things in our modern entertainment is serialized. Please, have a little more leeway. Have some exploration covering multiple topics through episodic adventures. That would be quite fun, I'd say. Please, please keep that in mind, entertainment writers. Not everything needs to be serialized and taken seriously. You shouldn't be taking me seriously all the time because I'm not always serious. If I was always serious, I'd go insane. Wait a minute, I already am insane. What am I talking about? Ugh, what? I'm... I think I want to go exploring in a little bit. I know I'm a little low on time. It's 5.20 at the time of recording. Right now. Not at the time of you watching this. That would be a little strange. However, I do have to prepare for the family getting back home. I have to separate. I believe I have already selected what I'll make them for supper. So I need worry about that one. However, there are other things I wish to consider. And that would be because I'm just rambling. I'm enjoying myself. You should enjoy yourself too. That would make your day far and far more entertaining. I got a little tongue tied there. I apologize for that. And yes, if you've noticed, I am not in the newer avatar today. I decided to wear this one. Being a Wednesday, I wanted to feel a little more professional. I still don't exactly appreciate that I only have a mini skirt, but at least here I look professional from here up. And I do, I do like professionalism. In fact, I believe we had an entire dream where we were worried about whether or not our suit looked appropriate. Of course, we were sitting there trying to find something in a perfect maroon, but we could only find gray and purple. We wore maroon on our on our vest. I don't exactly have a best for this one, do I? Anyway, this is Tessa Spade on your Wednesday, June 12th, 2024, day 164. I do hope everyone is enjoying it. In the meantime, you should take care of yourselves, eat healthy, eat your protein and fiber, everyone. You need your fiber. 
you need the fiber for a healthy poop. And that's a fact. Anyway, please take care of yourselves and we will see you all tomorrow on Thursday. So long, everyone.